मिस्टर डी आर मेहता जयपुर फूड जयपुर distinguished friends it's a great privilege to be here in this renowned institution the team we adopted for discussion also is very apt at the time that we start thinking on this i request you to think of A disabled, an amputee. Just then we say, "Who is he?" He lost his limb, lost his mobility. Since he lost his limb, he cannot go and work. Lost his income. He was a driver. Now he can't drive the car, earning fifteen thousand rupees. Today his income is zero. He is on the road. and if somebody is not earning who bothers about him except for mother perhaps none most of the people who have lost the limb in this country have been on the poverty line and at least 15% of these people are such who don't even have 5 or 10 rupees on them but if you can do something for such people the most disadvantaged one in the country i think that is an exercise in inclusiveness and that's why i said the subject chosen was very appropriate now what is the scale of the problem think of that also according to census of 2011 india has the dubious distinction of having 2.67 crore or 27 point um, 2.76 27.6 million disabled of all types locomotor disability blindness deafness all sorts of things i am talking of locomotor disability their number is around 10 million this is the magnitude of the problem number of institutions which exist in the country are very limited and the system they are following most of them they are very good institutions have all place for them but generally either they have the corporate model where the poor just can't enter so there is a total mismatch poor of the poor people and the hospitals which are charging the highest of the fees or companies which are asking for an enormous amount to fit a limb in america a limb costs 15000 dollars many of the foreign companies here are charging maybe 100000 rupees 50000 rupees now how many people can afford that virtually we are telling them the lower system is not meant for them they are less than citizens considering this jaipur food was developed this was innovation of the sms medical college a well known college of the country the original idea surprisingly and that might surprise large number of scientists sitting here was of a master craftsman he was not a formally trained prosthetist or orthotist or a doctor he said how is it that these people are i mean earlier the limbs were made of wood very heavy there was no movement at the ankle now in indian style how does one go to the toilet if there is no movement at the ankle census report says 52% of the people in this country don't have the toilet they go out and defecate and urinate outside Now, so he first thought of this, made a limb, showed it to three doctors. They saw the potential. They worked on that, and the first article which appeared in the international magazine, the name of these four people, including that master. Surprisingly, I have not seen scientific inventions being attributed to 
a non-scientific person, a non-scientist, not you are scientific in thinking, certainly. Now this gentleman, now limb was developed, it was my privilege that in 1975, this was developed in 68, 75, Bhagwan Mahavir Vikhlang Sahita Samiti, the society's name you saw here, I'll call it shortly BMVSS. And one of the reasons was, how do you scale up? In first seven years, 68 to 75, not even 50 limbs could be fitted, not the fault of the doctors. Point is, for this kind of work, you, not, you, you need not merely technology, which is very critical, undoubtedly, but also you need proper value system, proper management system, funding, you need passion, you need leadership. In the next seven years, that is 75 to 82, about 10,000 limbs were fitted. And now, would you believe, about, no, next seven years, I said 10,000 limbs were fitted. Now, you believe, presently about 25,000 limbs are being fitted every year. Please forgive me for being boastful. Nobody in this world, no organization, anywhere, can fit even 1,000 limbs a year. That's my information, maybe I'm, uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But this is the magnitude of the problem. Now I'll show you a, I'll give you a PowerPoint presentation. You next. This is a purely humanitarian, non, I'm talking the organization, BMVSS, non-sectarian, anybody could come. Non-political, international NGOs. Objective is, as I said, provide mobility and dignity. These are the, this is Jabal foot. This is a below knee limb, that is a bow knee limb, that is a bow knee joint specially developed, about which I'll be talking, and that again is the same thing. Now this old presentation, now this number has crossed the figure of 1.63 million beneficiaries, including 5.25 million amputees, 55, uh, 55 lakh, no, how much, 5, 5 lakh, uh, 50,000 amputees. It's the, presently the most widely used limb in the world. Time magazine says that people may not know about, in the developing world, about New York or Paris or they would, they are likely to know about Jaipur, the birthplace of Jaipur food. And it has revolutionized lives of millions of amputees. Main work of rehabilitation in India, but we also held 63 camps in 29 countries abroad. I'll show you this later. And all these things are being provided totally free of charge. I'll talk of the special kind of health, care, special kind of um, uh, healthcare model. Now these are baloney and beauty can do all these things: walk, sit, squat, run, swim, climb. He's like you and me. Just see this. He walks it on crutches, gets the limb the same day, he runs. He covers a kilometer in four minutes and few seconds. He climbs a tree, that ankle you see, that kind of flexion, rides a bicycle. Bilateral amputee. He crawled in, got the limbs in two days. He walks like you and me. Incidentally, both these are 
our employees now. And both of them have made, limbless people have made 5,000 people like them walk. That's the beauty. Skating. This boy, boy, Rawat, he lives in Mumbai. He has run 11 half marathons in Mumbai, 21 kilometers each. Every year he runs. And he went to the highest point in Leh, where a motorbike could go. One, one Jaipur leg. Sudha Chandan, you must have seen her. Nache Mayuri fame. Such vigorous dances. She uses her limb. She was our brand ambassador also. He can drive a car. If he's a Muslim, how does he perform his namaz? You know, we are very popular in Muslim countries. The Western design doesn't suit them. In Western design, you necessarily have to wear shoes. In Western design, you cannot kneel. How does one perform namaz? Well, let me tell you some incident. Uh, we wanted to go to Pakistan in 19... No, in 2007. For two years, we were not given the visas. Mr. Kasuri came to Delhi, the foreign minister then. So through a common friend, we had a meeting, luncheon meeting. So I told him, I said, sir, we are coming for humanitarian work and you are not letting us in? He said, what would you give me? I get limbs from Germany and England and America and all. I said, if you permit me, could I be slightly frank? Yes, yes, tell me. I said, are you aware what you are doing to a Muslim amputee of Pakistan? What? I said, he cannot, with the shoes on, he cannot enter a mosque. And if he enters, he cannot kneel, he cannot perform namaz. To ensure that a Muslim amputee of Pakistan is ceased to be Muslim. Believe me, he hit him like a bullet. In next one week, I got the visa, we went to Pakistan. And the kind of reception we got, believe me, and something beyond imagination. Japanese deputies came. Cost is fifty dollars. I told you in America it costs fifteen thousand dollars. In America twenty six percent of the population cannot afford insurance premium. And therefore, they cannot get even a tablet, let alone a limb. Is it democracy? One fourth of the population of a country cannot get health care. So, totally different kind of a health care model. So that, that's the point I'm highlighting. Foot piece, just the foot part, cost just $10. Now, since we are helping the poor and doing it totally free of charge, in terms of value system, we have a greater responsibility. Just because you are giving something free, you cannot pass off anything to a poor man. Give a better product, not an inferior one. How do you do that? Then you have to have research, in-house research. You have to have research in collaboration with others. And we are so lucky. And world is still a good place. And great universities like MIT, Stanford, would you believe? They came forward and they said, we would like to help you. And for free, latest is Cal Poly. Shortly we are going to sign an MOU with them. Indian Space, some IITs in India, other institutions. Now this is the kind of support we are getting. And whole idea is upgrade your technology. Give a better product to the people who are so disadvantaged. Now this joint, four bar polycentric knee joint. We requested Stanford University, a friend of mine, American, he was the vice chairman of J.P. Morgan Bank, one of the largest banks. He lost his limb. He's wearing a limb. I invited him to Jaipur. I said, 
please tell me which limb is better, your limb is better. How much did you pay? For that a bounty limb, his company paid $70,000. My cost is $50 plus $20 for this knee. We have fitted the joint to about 10,000 people, excellent feedback. Now further work is going on. And would you believe, Time Magazine USA, I would always say that my product is good. It's human psychology. But a paper like Time Magazine USA hails Jaipur Nee. It's called Jaipur Nee, surprisingly. I wanted to persuade Stanford University to say that this is Stanford Jaipur Nee. I said, we'll get the advantage of the word Stanford. They no, no, call it Jaipur Nee. And Time Magazine USA hails this as one of the 50 best inventions of the world for the year 2009. This is the Time Magazine thing, 50 best inventions. Now it says $20 knee. It says in America if you get a knee, so similar, knee joint to similar kind, it would cost $10,000. You, you can download it, 23rd November 2009, Time Magazine USA. Now field trials are going on. Another work, further improvement is taking place. And we have a gate lab, which is the latest in the country. Only two or three institutions lately have set up. And the gate lab, which was supplied by the Italian company to us, was supplied by the same company to NASA. Sorry, finish? I've just... Now we are trying to develop artificial hand. And we are collaborating with Stanford University, Cal Poly, um, Manipal University in Jaipur and two individuals. So five people are working on myoelectric hand. With MIT we have three projects. All, both these institutions surprisingly have extreme affordability departments. They are realizing this, that time has come when the product, some, somebody was talking in the morning about dissemination and about disperse, uh, about uh, use of the product, delivery. The gate lab is the latest, as I told you. Now, this is our motto, marriage service with science. And that is the way in which you can have inclusiveness. Just quickly, I'm finishing it. Most dangerous country in the world. The firing taking place, bomb busting, and we are, it's such a well-known name all over the world. Anybody willing to come to Iraq with me? Welcome. Just see the faces. What is the reward? We are all volunteers. This is the reward. People walk in, the sorrow writ large on their faces, walk out with all the smiles. Now that is the transformation, that's the alchemy. It impacts him, and more than him, it impacts you. And I'll just conclude by quoting the statement of an American scientist who visited us. In fact, he connected us to Stanford, Dr. Arman Newkermans. Just a second. I mean, again, excuse me, it would sound to be boastful, but it is not what I am saying. I am only repeating what he said. Arman Newkerman, as we stood among the poorest of the poor in Jaipur, some of them coming there from thousands of miles away, we realized that this was not about fitting limbs, but about restoring dignity to the other human beings. And the process, and the process to ourselves, giving dignity to ourselves. There may be other places in the world where compassion is that tangible. It is just that 
Wir doch ziehen nicht. Thank you.